been I've uh, been meaning to get that print frame for a while now. It looks really good. But a little piece of advice: don't try and mount your own prints. It's an absolute faff. The only reason I did it myself is because I was passing the frame shop. Um, and I wanted to pop in and get a frame for that print, but I didn't have the print with me to get the correct mount cut. So I said, oh, just give me, give me a piece of mount board, I'll do it myself. Um, yeah, that was a mistake. Uh, so, yeah, don't try and mount your own prints. So the title of this video may very well be getting your attention. It's it's a bit clickbaity, but it's also not clickbaity. What I want to talk to talk about today is uh, 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 manipulation of images, not cheating. Um, but, you know, uh, some people call it cheating, some people call it art, some people whatever, you know, when you manipulate an image, when you change an image. Um, and I want to sort of talk in this video about my stance on the whole thing and show a couple of examples of my own work that I have changed, slash cheated on, slash manipulated or whatever. My stance on image manipulation in the art world and the landscapes and portraits and all that sort of stuff is, hey, do what you want. I, I very much view photography, uh, landscapes, and all, all other kinds of creative photography. I view it as an art form. You know, um, I went to my camera club the other day and a guy did a presentation. Loads of really old um, prints, all slides shot on film, and they were so good. So many fantastic images that had been double exposed and, you know, sheets of transparency lapped over one another and then exposed on their, on their table and then the dark room and all these various other techniques that they were using, you know, well, since the beginning of photography. So it's been going on a long time and my view on it is 100% get creative. If, hang on, hang on. I need to get a magazine, got, uh, you know, I'm a subscriber to the old outdoor photography magazine and there's a great Diane Varner, Diane Varner has an article in this magazine and I was reading this article and her images are fantastic um, but they're not true to life, you know, they're manipulated and edited um, to get the aesthetic that she's looking for. I'm, I'm paraphrasing here, I'm not going to read the whole article now in front of you but you know, really, really good work, work that inspired me on some recent trips that I'll probably talk about in another video. Um, so, I think so long as you're, so long as you don't try and mislead anybody, and when I say mislead, I don't mean not mention it, because editing images and tweaking images, more often than not, it's not even worth mentioning. Um, but when I say mislead, I don't mean say, oh yeah, no, it, it was like that when it wasn't. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to talk about some images. So let's let's just start with uh, the print you've just seen me mount. Uh, here we go. This is the image um, now. I made some changes to this image, minor changes, a couple of distraction removals, um, which is what I do. I, I can, in fact, I could say honestly that every, almost every single image I take, I get the clone removal tool out and I just go around and get rid of things that bother me. Little rocks here, little twigs there, bits and pieces. And I did that on this image and I removed three items. Let's have a look. First item was this sort of twig here in the uh, on the right lower third. I said in the video when I filmed it on location, if you haven't seen that video by the way, it's, you can watch it just here and I'll, uh, I'll link to it below as well. Uh, I said I was going to remove that because it's a distraction. And there's another tiny, tiny little twig here. But one, um, one major, major change I did was there's, there was all of the snow on the bank of the river and if you just look on the left hand of the frame here, you can see, you can see there's an extra bit of snow, an extra pillow of snow. And on location, I, I didn't notice it, it didn't bother me. But when I got the image into the edit suite, I wanted the curve of the lower riverbank to sweep around and out smoothly. <laughs> and then you've kind of got this little bit of puffy snow there, which to all intents and purposes is the land itself, it's the riverbank. Um, and that bothered me so much, so I got rid of it, Doom, gone, and I have no problem doing that. I'll make tiny little tweaks to the edges of my frame to, uh, you know, to, to make it a cleaner image, to make it visually more appealing and more aesthetic, and, and I think it's absolutely fine, you know, I'm not trying to mislead anybody. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is because in last week's video I edited, or last Wednesday's video, so the last of my uploads, 
I did a big hike in the Lake District, didn't really take many images, took one photograph and it was this photograph. I've got this beautiful ice uh, interacting with the footpath and the, and the way the light was catching it and the way the, the warm tones of the light on the, on the rocks and then the blue tones of the ice and I really liked the whole thing. Um, or I liked it when I was there and then I took the image and I wasn't sure how I felt about the photograph. Um, Denard on the way down the, the mountain back towards my van and uh, if you haven't seen that video I'll also link to it here and link to it in the description below. Lots of videos on location if you are new to this channel. Um, but yeah, you go and check them out and you'll see how I shot this image. Um, but yeah, I, was, uh, I, was, I got this image open in the edit suite in Lightroom I just couldn't, I couldn't get, I, couldn't, I wasn't satisfied with it, I couldn't get it to look right for some reason. Maybe I'd rushed when I was on location because that sun was setting very fast. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But this is the original. Same photograph. And this is the most I have ever changed an image. Now let me explain how and what I did and how I came about it. There's the image you will have seen in the video. This is the original image uh, out of my camera, but, but they are edited, processed. Um, so I edited the whole video and processed the whole thing and I put this image on the timeline with the nice, you know, the nice music and everything. And, and I thought, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I like it, but I just, it could be so much better. It's almost there. And then something happened that I've never seen before. Um, you know, in Adobe, for those of you that edit in Adobe Premiere, you have two windows. You have a window here, and then, uh, which is your timeline window, and then you have your ma your file window. I don't know the technical terms. You have a second window here. For some reason, Adobe Premiere malfunctioned. Right? Malfunctioned. Functioned. <laughs> Adobe Premiere malfunctioned, and that image that was on the left window, Adobe Premiere stretched it, boof, stretched it into a four-five vertical. And it's just, uh, it's a bug in Adobe Premiere, surprise, surprise. And I thought, blooming heck, <laughs> that actually looks quite good. So I got my image and I stretched it to 4.5. I literally pulled it down and stretched it. And I was so like unsure, I was, I was so torn between putting the image in the video and as in its stretched form or putting it in the video in its original form. Um, and there's a couple of reasons I decided to keep it in, um, in its stretch form. One, because I think I prefer it. Um, I like the elongated icicles. The second one is because it's an abstract image to start with. It's abstract in nature. So by changing it and stretching it and warping it as I did, it doesn't change anything in terms of, it's not like uh, I photographed a mountain and then I stretch the whole thing and it makes the mountain look like a pyramid and it makes the river look like it's, you know, it wasn't any, and again, nothing wrong with that at all. Um, I think it's great, you know, see it as an art form, but because it's abstract in nature, I was, I was a lot easier with, with doing this. Um, so there you go, it's, yeah, it's the most I've ever cheated with an image, I think. Um, but is it cheating? Um, I'm not entirely sure it is, and I quite like it, and I'm going to keep it as is, and I'm, I'm happy with it. And, but the, the annoying thing is, now you know, now that you know it's stretched, you can see that it's stretched, right? Because you've seen the original. So, um, yeah, but luckily I don't love the image that much, so I don't think I'm going to do anything with it. Um, let's give you another example about uh, an image of mine that I've cheated. And I use the word cheated, it's purely just to, you know, just for dramatic, uh, you know, just dramatic license, if you like. But yeah, here we go, beautiful stalagmites, icy stalagmites in the ice cave. This image, you, you could say I've cheated here, this isn't an original photograph, no, 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 far from it. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven images combined in Lightroom, um, and merged to HDR, and then I've you know, edited it the best I can. We still have this bright highlight in the middle there, which bothers me a bit. 
um, I've tweaked the white balance to really cool it down and bring out the blues. And let me tell you, it didn't look anything like this in the ice cave because your eye can't see a 7 image HDR just like we have created here. And the colours also didn't look like this in the ice cave to my eye. They were much paler, much more like a, a bright white rather than this cool blue. So, yeah, you know, I think image manipulation and cheating and or whatever you want to call it, I just call it creative licence, um, is, in my opinion, 100% absolutely fine. So I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Um, you know, are, are you a bit of a Moose Peterson? Do you like, you know, you, you, you don't crop and you get everything right in camera? Or are you a bit of a, I don't know, someone else? <laughs> I don't want to name any photographers, but are you, are you the type of person, like me, who will happily go and tweak things and change things and, and get it aesthetically how, you know, get it looking as aesthetically how you want it to look? Um, or you're kind of in the middle ground, you don't mind dodging, burning, processing and a bit of clone removal, but you don't want to take it too far, let me know! Let me know, let me know. Um, open for debate, and I think it's a healthy debate, so please, no morons in the comments. If you're a moron, get out. <laughs> You're not welcome here. So yeah, there we go. There's today's video. Um, join me next week as, well I say next week, join me on Wednesday as I go to Scotland in my camper van and my gosh, the best week in Scotland I have ever seen. Sub-zero temperatures, heavy snowfalls, a ground level. <sighs> fantastic and we had a good four or five days sleeping in the van in those conditions it was fantastic so you, you have to come to the channel on Wednesday and then every day for like the next month or something because I've got tons of Scottish content all right well thanks so much for watching and um, yeah until next time bye for now